Star Wars Tabletop Gaming is proudly supported by Gatekeeper Games, your key to gaming unplugged. A tabletop games store offering a friendly atmosphere for people to buy and play their games in the north of Fitzroy. Welcome to episode 15 of Star Wars Tabletop Gaming. Uh, in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to build some Star Wars terrain. Uh, we're going to keep it nice and simple because that's what I'm about. Uh, and pretty much this is the easiest piece of uh, desert Tatooine style building you can create as inexpensively as possible. So the, what we'll be doing today is turning the a building, a small one, from the very inexpensive Tabula Rasa range from Knights of Dice. We'll be turning a flat pack building like that into something like this. Uh, that is a desert style, Star Wars-y, futuristic, miscellaneous science fiction style building. So I'm going to go through pretty much everything that you need first off uh, to build a building like this and then we'll go through step by step on how you create it. So enjoy. Let's have a look at everything you need to make your Star Wars building. So to start off, this is Desert Residence 1 that we'll be making from the Tabula Raza range. There we go. Uh, as it says, a blank slate to build on. These are nice, simple buildings that you can do whatever you want with, uh, and they're priced to match. So, let's have a look at what we'll need. First, the glue. So, I'm using a quick set wood glue uh, that I got from a craft store, uh, or maybe even Bunnings, and also a craft glue. The craft glue is so we can stick kind of plasticky stuff to our building uh, to add little extra bits here and there to make it more interesting. Then we need the little extra bits. So, I've got all kinds of stuff going on here. Uh, what we've got here is, this is from Knights of Dice. This is their little sci-fi extras range with air cons and security cameras and stuff like that. Uh, so you might use that. Uh, and then I also got these from Miniature Scenery. Uh, and these are things like sci-fi doors, extra little things, keypads, uh, grates, windows, stuff like that. As you can see, uh, I've been using lots of them and I'll show you kind of what effect that's had on some other buildings in a second. Then you want some extra stuff. Let's let's make these interesting. So I managed to find these from a craft store. Uh, these are for Christmas bobbles. You meant to put them together, but essentially I cut off this end bit here and I use those to create those uh, iconic domes that you see on Star Wars buildings and then I'll be putting on the top of mine. So if you can't find them in craft stores anymore because Christmas is over, uh, look online, you should be able to. Uh, someone asked, these are seven centimeters in diameter, uh, which is perfect for this range. All right, uh, what else have we got? So these are all the little offcuts uh, from the MDF scenery as we go. Uh, I've used these to create interesting bits on the buildings. Uh, used these bits for ladders, these squares to create, I don't know, little, little walkway areas. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. I use these for the edges of the ladder. Um, they're meant to be the pokey out bits. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do to make it more interesting there. Uh, other stuff. So these bits here are sprinkler bits, essentially, that I've got from Bunnings, which is a hardware store here in Australia. Uh, and this is to, to make the buildings cooler uh, and put cool stuff on them. So I've already got plenty of residences, residential buildings. Um, so I think I'm going to make this one into a bit of a radio tower kind of thing. So using some wire and that sprinkler bit, uh, we'll see if we can make it interesting. All right, next up, what do we need? So once all that's on, you're going to want to put some texture onto it. Uh, so I've been using timber filler. Um, there are less expensive choices out there, and I'll probably be looking at that in the future. Uh, but this does the job. Essentially, we add some water to this, uh, spread it all over, and then texture it. Uh, we'll be texturing it with a little sponge, which you'll need. Uh, this bit to texture it and this bit to smooth it out as we put it on. Uh, we'll get to that later on. Uh, and this is some sandpaper as well. I use that to smooth out the edges of the MDF uh, to make it look less boxy. Then it comes to spray paint. Uh, so I've got a bunch of spray paints here, but the ones I'll be using for this specifically are the brown, the cream, uh, and a bit of Corax white. You could use any white uh, just for the, the top to add a bit of gradient highlight. Uh, all the other colors are for, uh, for, uh, for future buildings that I'll be building, uh, and I won't need them for this one here. Then we'll want to do some sand. So I like to put a bit of sand in the courtyard just to mix it up, make it a bit interesting. Um, so that's just your generic hobby sand bulk there. Uh, what else? Then to add some depth, we'll be using this. Uh, interior stain. So this, I got this uh, this hint from the Knights of Dice videos themselves. This is walnut, uh, and it's water-based, which is important. And we'll put that over and then kind of dry a bit off as we go uh, to make it look more interesting after the texture has dried. 
what else do we need? We've got some paintbrushes. Um, after the spray painting, you want to add some extra colours uh, onto the little bits, the little, you know, wires and the, the doors and whatnot to differentiate them just from the, the plain cream background. Uh, so you'll need some brushes there. Same saying, you'll need a tub with some water. You'll need some paper towel. And that's pretty much it. Uh, oh yeah, and the paints. So these are the different paints that I'll be using. This is Games Workshop range, but you could use whatever you want, essentially. Uh, and I like to use a wash rather than the stain uh, for the sand, because I think it has a better effect. Um, and also to get it more into the depths of the MDF uh, extra detail bits, because the stain doesn't quite get in there. So that's, that's everything. So let me show you kind of what I've been able to achieve using just all of this stuff. These are some of the buildings I've done so far. Uh, and some that I'm still working on. So you see little pipes here, um, that bit that you saw before from Bunnings, those ladders that I talked about using the offcuts, uh, a bigger pipe. Uh, this was, I don't even know what that is, like the top of a vent, I guess, uh, going into a bathroom to make sure leaves don't fall down it. Uh, added on there, you can see the bigger buildings. There's some of the Knights of Dice, little extra bits, the, uh, the air con and the camera. Uh, da -da, looking up here, same, same, one of the bigger domes on top there. A uh, big pipe here. There's that sand I was talking about in the courtyard, just to add some texture and some interesting areas. Uh, don't even worry about those guys yet. Uh, and that's it. So that's pretty much all the pieces we'll be using. And with doing that, we will create our Star Wars building. So on to creating the MDF building. So before uh, we get into anything, we have to pop it out. Uh, so when popping it out, the kit does come with those little candy cane-like wooden bits uh, to specifically use to pop the fragile bits out. Because uh, if you go too hard with your fingers in there, there is a chance that you'll snap things uh, or ruin the more delicate little bits of it. Uh, and it's really good for getting in, as you can see, those little tight areas as well. Uh, so nothing too complicated here. Uh, I like to pop you pop them all out, uh, but keep those little offcuts because they are useful later for creating patterns and doors and it bars on windows and all kinds of ladders, all kinds of interesting things. So what I like to do next is to do a bit of a dry fit. Uh, as you can see, I'm using the old building here as the example of where all the bits go, but they are actually pretty self-explanatory and they only really go in certain parts. So do a dry fit first. Uh, there are instructions online for these kits, uh, but most of them you'll be able to work out yourself. Uh, there's nothing too complicated. Uh, and a dry fit also kind of tells you where things are going to need to go and what's going to need to go in first for the gluing. So I've jumped a little ahead here with the gluing process uh, because there's nothing too complicated about gluing. Uh, using the wood glue here uh, and not putting on too much is the key. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about glue extra bits. Uh, I'm quite pedantic about it, as you can see with the tissue there and the paper towel. Uh, but because we're going to go over all of this with an, the texture filler anyway, uh, it doesn't actually really matter if you get extra glue bits everywhere. So do what you want, go nuts. I've got most of the building together, now I'm just putting on the courtyard walls. Nothing complicated. I did have to take at one point the pliers to one of the little bits because uh, it just wasn't going to quite get in. So I snipped off uh, a bit of the lug that goes into the into the floor and that just allowed me to put it in easier and, and that's fine. Once again, because we're going over with texture filler, you can be quite forgiving. Uh, and that's just putting in the roof supports there. They go on the inside and hold up the roof. All right, so now that we are done with putting the thing together, uh, you let it dry for a bit and then you get into the sanding. So that's my way too big sander that I use for it, but it works pretty efficiently. Uh, and of course, safety. Uh, MDF, when it's sanded, is not the most healthy thing to breathe in, so I like to wear a mask. Uh, and then you just start sanding the edges. So what this makes, uh, the effect that this gives is more rounded edges, not as boxy. Uh, you can go as hard or as little as you want with this step. You don't even really have to do it if you don't want to, but I think it gives it that nice extra kind of lived in, more realistic touch. Uh, so I then just go around, sped up uh, over all of the edges. You can even do the sides, uh, all of the corners if you're that keen, uh, and just give them a good sanding. Um, nothing too complicated here. Now that the building is dried, uh, that is the glue has all dried and it is rock solid and stuck together. As you can see there, no gaps, nice and easy. All right. Now it is time to add all the sci-fi little bits uh, to make it interesting and to make it Star Wars-y. So, because it is like the, it's identical to the building you see there 
over here, uh, I wanted to make it a little different from a residence. So I've decided to make it a bit of a comm station thing, maybe, uh, that would also make it a good objective in games as well. So what I'm going to do is actually kind of jam this sprinkler bit or two different sprinkler bits that I've just joined together because they have screw bits uh, and kind of put that right in here. There we go. Uh, oh, geez. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Uh, to stick that in there, and that'll be kind of a, a comms post thing. Uh, I'm going to grab this little bit here, that's another sprinkler bit uh, that I've used on other buildings, and I'm just going to stick that in the top to make it a little interesting as well. Uh, so, there we go, that's the, that's the overall plan. So, to make that happen, I had to cut a hole in this roof. Now, I wasn't going to try and cut a circle bit, that would be silly, uh, so I cut a square like that. Now, note to self, when using a scalpel to cut MDF, be very, very careful, uh, because I did this to myself, uh, pretty much stabbed myself in the finger, only about a centimetre across, which was lucky and it wasn't too bad, but blood of course went everywhere, and I was off to the doctors, so that lost me about an hour of hobby time yesterday. Whoops, won't be doing that, at least in the near future, maybe 12 months, maybe it'll happen again in 12 months. But, going on, so what I've done, so I wanted the hole to be circular, uh, as per the whole thing, but I wasn't going to try and cut a circular hole, so what I've done is actually cut out... Uh, a bit of a off, off cut, I guess, sprue bit uh, from the miniature scenery sprue sheet over there. So I cut that out and stuck that on, and I think it's going to look pretty good. Once I've got some texture over that, it's going to look awesome. And I, the reason I use this bit because it has all these little knobby bits there, which I think will make it look really interesting as opposed to just being a plain circle. So that's the plan. So if we get in nice and close, and I chuck this over the top, that actually sits nice and flush with those knobby bits, kind of just pressing into the uh, into the plastic there. How cool is that? So, that's the plan, and once that's textured over, I think that'll look really good. All right, so other things that I'm planning on doing, I've got one of these little corks left over, I got this from a craft store. I'm gonna chop into that a bit uh, and stick that probably there for this roof bit here. You want a little something on each of the roof bits, because that means you can use them, uh, as you can see here, to actually pick them up uh, without having to this one here, turn the building upside down, so you can put miniatures inside during a game and it's nice and easy without having to disrupt the whole terrain. <clears throat> Other little things that's happening, I'm going to put together another one of these little ladders using these pokey bits that you get with all the Knights of Dice stuff, uh, and these little offcuts uh, from, they're actually from these little joins here. So that's the plan there, and what I'm probably going to chuck that one here to be a little different from this building where it's on the back. Uh, and that just provides an alternate kind of way to get up onto buildings. It makes for interesting gaming and, and fun little things you can do. Uh, I'm going to have a door on the inside because this is more of a secure building uh, as it's got the comm station. So I'm going to put this on the inside of the door, uh, which I'll show you how to do as we go. Uh, other little things that are happening. So I'm going to cover a lot of the windows. As I said, it's a more secure building. So I'm going to have a lot of grates and stuff over the windows. Uh, I'm going to chuck these onto a wall just because. Have a little vent thing on the back maybe. I don't know, make it interesting. Uh, I've got a little keypad here, which is way too big for the scale, but whatever. Uh, and I'm going to stick that onto the bottom uh, of the plastic bit to make it look like a bit of a comm station thing. Because why not? Sounds legit to me. So, that is the plan. I'll, uh, we'll stick all those bits on now, and I'll walk you through some other things that I'll be doing as we go to, to make it nice and Star Wars-y. Just a quick point uh, that I forgot to mention while I was doing that quick little bit there. Uh, this originally had a sticker on it, this sprinkler bit here, as you can see, this one does here. Uh, now, those sticker bits, when you eventually peel them off and scrape them off, they actually leave, you can do that just by soaking them in some water. What the water doesn't get rid of is the gluey residue uh, that's left on that piece. Uh, and spray paint will not go over that. It won't stay, it'll stay wet, essentially. So what you wanna do is get yourself some eucalyptus oil, 100% pure. And all you do is a tiny bit of oil and a sponge or whatever, and that'll just take that glue residue right off and leave it looking nice and shiny and clean. And from what I understand, spray paint won't have an issue going over that. So get yourself some eucalyptus oil if you're planning on hitting the hardware store and using some of these sprinkler bits with stickers on them. Now it is time to stick all of the cool little widget bits on and together and do what needs to be done. So what you can see I'm doing here is actually getting rid of all of the letters 
on this piece. Uh, a lot of the sprinkler bits come with words on them, and in the Star Wars universe, we use Arabesh. We don't use English writing, so they have no place here, like numbers and stuff as well. So combination of sanding, using my scalpel to scrape them off and cut them off. Remember, cut away from you, uh, and that just gets rid of them there uh, and makes that look a lot nicer. Now on to gluing in all of the little extra bits. So first in goes the door. I've chosen to use just a kind of off cut, just a flat piece that I've stuck inside and I'll put a bit of detail and extra de you know, nice things on that later. Next to those little candy cane bits that I talked about before that we used to poke out the small off cuts. Uh, I've snipped off the bottoms to make them more flat and I've glued that in nice and straight with the, with the little handle bit poking out the top there. I'll add the extra rungs and the second bit later on once that's dried and I can use it to put them nice and straight. So here we're working on the windows and the vents that come from miniature scenery. They usually come in two bits uh, to give them a bit of depth and a bit of detail, make it more interesting than just flat MDF terrain. Uh, essentially just gluing these, making sure not to use too much glue because we won't be putting uh, texture on these. So you want them to look nice. You'll see there I'm using the scalpel to, to cut around the little edge bits. Uh, that's because where they connect to the sprue, they're a bit fluffy. So you want to scrape that away because that doesn't look so nice when it's painted. Next, what have I grabbed? All right, I've grabbed the cork. So I have I snip away at the cork to make it look a bit damaged and a bit roughed up. Uh, those little offcuts from the cork I keep because I like to use them in the corners to build up a bit of dirt and debris, I guess, for the courtyards. And then just stick that on. Wood glue is fine. That'll stick cork to MDF. I think I haven't had any problems with it. It hasn't come apart yet. So that's a good sign. All right, and sticking on the rungs here of the ladders, I think I put about seven or eight on. Uh, that's a process, but just be nice and patient. Make sure they're straight and flush, and uh, that'll give you a really cool little ladder effect. There we go. So that's looking pretty good, that ladder. Uh, I just, I like what it offers for the game, uh, and it adds a whole lot of interesting detail to the miniature. All right, next up, what are we doing? All right, we're checking out the door. So yeah, so I stuck a couple of little square bits on the door just to make it different, make it interesting. Uh, nothing says MDF like flat, plain wooden bits. So throw extra offcuts in there to make it interesting and make your models or your terrain unique. All right, now chucking on all the windows. Uh, that took a little bit of effort just to make sure it covered the hole, but all the others go on nice and simple. Uh, this one here, I decided to do something a bit different on the spur of the moment. Uh, I've grabbed some of the offcuts and made them into little bars and put them on diagonally just because Star Wars likes to do its own thing. Uh, and I think that looks pretty nifty, kind of like it's been boarded up or barred up, a bit of security, uh, something just a little different there. Right, going around, making sure the hole area is where the actual hole is. That helps. Uh, maybe if, if you chose to do some internal lights later on, that could be really cool and that would make the bars look really interesting. Remember, not too much glue here because you don't want that to go into the detailed bits of the MDF. The filler will, uh, will get the outside bits, but it won't go over the, over the detail. All right, and now deciding what to do in this front area here, because it was looking a little plain. Uh, I grabbed another one of the offcuts and gave it a really good sanding on one edge, and that created a bit of a smooth and rounded, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, rail bit, I guess, uh, that I put next to the door, just to make that area look a little more interesting. I've done that on a few of my other miniatures as well. Uh, not miniatures, terrain, uh, and it looks really cool too. All right, sticking stuff onto plastic. So the super glue that I use is a gel type super glue. Uh, it's really thick, and that's the type of stuff you want, because your regular liquidy kind of super glue will not really cut the mustard with this one here. So I put a little panel onto the front of that plastic uh, sprinkler bit uh, so that someone could theoretically type some stuff in there and use the comm channel. All right, the vent. Make sure when you're putting your vents on, you actually put them on beneath the level of the roof uh, so that it actually makes sense because they wouldn't be venting uh, the outside air. That's ridiculous. I made that mistake on one of my terrain pieces. Keep going to say miniatures uh, and we'll not do that again. All right, and lastly, I was looking for something to go above that door. Uh, played around with some offcuts. Nothing was really talking to me. Uh, so I found, then I found these little, I don't even know what these are, slightly detailed bits of MDF. Uh, and offset up the top here. Uh, I think they look kind of cool. Uh, and that will do the job nicely. Glue them in and we are all finished.
And there you have it, our completed Star Wars building. Well, completed for this step anyway. So we'll call this step one. That's the construction and the widgeting up of our buildings. Just take it to the top of that mast. It's so long. There we go. All right. Cool. All right. So that's step one. Uh, if you have a look, we've got all the little windows. I decided to, to bar these up. Uh, that sits really nice and flush in there. You see, that's right against it, which is really cool. Uh, a few of them aren't, but that's just fine. That one there is, uh, which is awesome. All right, another window on the back. We have a vent, because why not? You need your vents. Got a sneaky ladder on the side. A little bit of a, a doorway thing. Some above door things. Once again, they don't need purpose. They're just there to look interesting. Yeah, the cork kind of battles battlestrid, whatever you want to call it, um, little knobby bit on the top, uh, and the door with its little little square bits. So there we go. So that's going to just make it look more interesting, essentially, is the purpose of all of that. Uh, so step two will be the using of filler to give it texture uh, and putting of sand in the courtyard as well. But there we go. The beginnings of our Star Wars building.